new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll always be notified when a future video drops. And if you enjoy the video guys, make sure you smash that like button and leave me a comment telling me you've joined the notification squad so I can give you a shout out in future videos. But without further ado, let's get into it. Yo guys, what is up? And welcome back to the channel. As season seven has just dropped, I thought I would do an educational video showing you guys what it takes to become a Fortnite god, turn pro, and be just like your favorite streamers. If you follow my simple step-by-step -step program, you will be dominating the Fortnite scene in no time, getting dubs left, right, and center, and these steps work for all platforms, whether it's PC or console. Mobile, probably not. So let's get into it. Step one, wear a sweaty tryhard skin. There is one skin in Fortnite which everybody knows only the sweatiest of players wear, and that is the football skin. I'm not talking about the NFL skins where they throw and catch an egg, and each game goes on for about eight hours, even though there's only 40 minutes worth of action. I mean, seriously, what's all that about? I'm talking about the football where the sport involves kicking a ball with your foot. When you put the football skin on, it has been scientifically proven that your shot accuracy increases, you get mad sniping skills, your building skills greatly improve. Basically, you get much better at the game. If, however, you do not have the football skin, the only real other try-hard thing to do is go for the no-skin approach. This can lure people into thinking that you're a noob when in fact you are a Fortnite god, just like Tofu. Now, Tofu is the most famous Fortnite player for being a no-skin, and he is also a god. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Most of his skills come from the science of being a no-skin. Oh, sorry guys, my brother's ringing me, one sec. Hello? Yeah, good, how's it going? Yeah, just making that YouTube video about how to be a Fortnite god, just like your favorite streamers. Yeah. What? What do you mean it's pronounced Tifu? And what did I say? Tofu. Oh yeah, tofu's that disgusting stuff vegetarians eat, isn't it? Right, yeah. And the stream is called Tifu. Yeah, cool, gotcha. Well, thanks for telling me before I posted this video. That could have been very embarrassing. Yeah, okay, yeah, speak to you later. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Tifu. Tifu is known for being a no skin. Well, I say he's a no skin, but recently, thanks to Epic's new gifting service, where you can buy skins for other people and send them as gifts. Merry Christmas, by the way. Tifu has been getting a few skins gifted to him. For example, another famous streamer, Tim the Fat Man, sent him a skin the other day, I guess making Tifu no longer a no skin. Oh, sorry guys, my brother's calling me again, one sec. Hello? Yeah, still good. Yeah, still making the video. Yeah, what do you want? What do you mean he's not called Tim the Fat Man? It's Tim the Tat Man because he has lots of tattoos. But I thought he was American, and they're all pretty massive. He's not fat anyway, he's thick. All oh, right, and that's different, is it? Thick people are more muscular than fat. All oh, right, cool, well, there, thanks for telling me. Better edit that out of this video before I post it, that could have been very embarrassing. All right, cool, cheers, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, speak to you later. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Right, guys, so I've got my nose skin on. We have got for the, we've gone for the no back bling, the basic glider, and we are actually going to use the Reaper pickaxe um, for a very specific reason, which I'll get into a little bit later on. But for now, let's get onto solos, get into some gameplay, and I'll take you through the step-by-step -step guide you need to master if you want to become a Fortnite pro. Step two. Drop somewhere far away where you can loot and get resources in peace. Many of you will think that being a pro in Fortnite is about getting loads of kills, dropping into Tilted or Pleasant and clearing the place out. Well, that is wrong. Being a Fortnite pro is all about getting those dubs. So we are going to drop far away and hope no one comes with us. I like Junk Junction. I like Junk Junction as it usually has a few chests which will contain guns. Now you will need to collect a few guns 
in order to win this game as well as materials to build with. Junk has lots of materials to farm which leads me on to my next step. As we were flying into Junk Junction we had a quick look to see if anyone was coming with us and lucky for them they decided against it as we are Fortnite gods and will have totally destroyed them straight away. Now that we are here it leads me on to step three. Step three is to always have lots of metal stored away for the late game. When it comes to farming up materials it is very important to have at least a thousand materials stored away because when you get into that big build fight which will happen sooner or later because as we all know we are Fortnite gods it is important not to run out of materials halfway through the fight. Junk Junction is good for materials as it has lots of trees around the outskirts and all this metal to be farmed as well. Right guys now that we're all looted and farmed up it's time to leave Junk Junction and go looking for our first fight of the game. Now every Fortnite player knows that if you are running from one place of the map to another you must be constantly jumping looking around for enemy players and swapping between your pickaxe and your guns. This is why we wanted the Reaper pickaxe equipped at the start of the match because it makes the best noise when you swap from a gun back to your pickaxe. You need to be aiming for at least a hundred swaps every minute. If you're not doing that many, those are rookie numbers and you need to step them up. It is also like your war cry throughout Fortnite. If any enemy players see you jumping and swapping between your pickaxe, they automatically know that you are a Fortnite god and to stay away. Right guys, we've found our first player, so let's get into our first engagement. Don't even worry about shooting him, it's all about building. So we're building up, we are building up, we are making sure we're getting the high ground, do a few 90s to really sharp our building skills, keep on going, make sure we get this high ground. Perfect. Now all we need to do is enjoy some snacks whilst we wait for them to give up. As we are Fortnite gods, we are keeping the high ground. And we are actually surrounded now, so we're gonna build a bit more of our one by one, get the ramp going a bit higher. And uh, that is a slight problem with taking the high ground. It's just that occasionally you do get shot down. Right, here we are guys, totally in the same game. We definitely didn't get shot down in that last one. And we are coming across our first opponent of the game. So we're gonna build up, get that high ground, and we're gonna laser it. There we are, simple as that. Make sure you get the high ground and just unload your AR on them to get the first kill of the game. Right guys, I can see some fighting over here. So we're gonna go try and third party this fight. That is what you want to do in Fortnite. Try and third party as many of the fights as possible. I've actually fallen off and taken some damage there. But it's fine. But we are Fortnite God. It shouldn't really matter. We're going to build up here. And there's our last next victim. Simple as that. Always try and third party as many fights as you can. Therefore, you'll get the maximum kills. Because when everyone is low on health, you just swoop in and take them all for yourself. Unnecessary use of the grappler is another great way to show everyone how much of a Fortnite god you really are. The more unnecessary, the better. Right guys, as we're a Fortnite pro, we will do everything with our grappler. Simple as that. We've got another enemy here, so we're going to whip out the grappler, go fly it in, and get another kill. Right guys, now it's getting down to the end game. You've been in the top 10. What you want to do is use a technique called, known in Fortnite as turtling, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, it's the reason we uh, farmed so much metal earlier on as well at Junk Junction. What you essentially want to do is build yourself a little one by one with a roof and a floor on top so no one can get in from up there. And essentially what you can do is practice your godlike editing skills whilst inside here just to uh, scare off any potential uh, threats. Um, also you can build out a few more as well um, so you've got a little bit of a bigger base to work with but basically what you want to do is just sit here 
and wait for all the opponents to start fighting each other. And then when you get down to the last couple of people, third party that fight and get the dub. Um, if watching professional Fortnite players has taught me anything, is that you want to turtle as much as you possibly can and we are getting shot by a plane so we, uh, talking about it turtle as much as you possibly can and you can always get the dub uh, with zero kills and still be a fortnite god another pro strat you can do is if you edit this and look at editing your roof you can actually peek out you can actually peek out and see where everyone is without them looking at you. Right, guys, we've just got our first elimination of the game, which puts it to three people left. But that is fine, because we all know you can still be a Fortnite god and have no eliminations. Right, guys, so there are now three people remaining. And basically our plan is to third party the last fight and get the dub. So we are going to wait here until the last two people start fighting and then we are gonna secure the win. Right guys, we've just taken out the player that was up there on the high ground. And I can hear the last guy building, he's right here. Yes guys! We get the dub, which is the most important thing about being a professional Fortnite player. Showcase your 90s again, just to show how good you are and dom dominant you are at building in this game. And there you are guys, Victory Royale. How to be a Fortnite god, just like your favorite streamers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I was thinking about doing some more how to be videos in the future. So if you did like this one, make sure to drop me a comment as well to know, so I know you've seen it. And yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Doesn't matter about the kills. It only matters about the dubs. Peace out.